and welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a very long time since you've listened to the video, but this video has been months in the making. Long overdue. As you can see, I am not alone. I'm here with my best pal, my friend, my co-star, my roommate, Paul Giratano. Say Howdy. hi. Howdy. Say hi to the According to Chris fans. Hello, everyone. And who are you, and how did you end up here today? I am Paul. I am just a bright light here oh, in this please. universe. Okay. How did I end up here today? You know, we're here doing cats, so that's how we uh, became acquainted. And I'm here today because of my beautiful parents, my lovely family, and my support all through my journey. That's why I'm here today. <laughs> I met in this video, but okay. So have you, if you haven't gathered it from the title or from his little speech, this is my roommate. We've been living together for a long time now. <laughs> And we're doing this tag, and I have questions here that we're gonna answer about our roommate ship. So, without further ado, without further ado, quick Java sock plug. We love Java socks. Um, this is not sponsored. We just love um, these products. So, really, if you're an iced coffee drinker, get a Java sock. They're so helpful. You'll love it. Okay, are you ready for the first question? Ready. Okay, okay. ready. You're so holding the, the paper. Well, I have to read our the questions. Our viewers deserve better than that. Oh my God! The first question is: Did you know each other? Before you became roommates? No, not even a little bit. No, and what's normal of me in my life is to stalk people once I get like their names, and I had a list of names of who was in the cast, and I didn't stalk you, or anyone for that matter, which is weird. What were your first impressions of each other? Um, my first impressions of Chris were from his laptop, the stickers on his laptop, and some pictures that he put up in the room before I got there, and I was like, Okay, yeah. he's like a little kooky, he's gonna be a little crazy, but he seems fun and he was really into, a lot of his stickers were pop culture references that I enjoyed. But I said, oh, this is fun, cute. Yeah. yeah. Um, my first impression of Paul is when I got back to the room that night and um, my first impression was that he was nice. He would seem, also seemed a little bit kooky, like I always tell the story. His favorite story he, to tell. I walk in the door and I was like, hi, I'm Chris, nice to meet you. And instantly, hi, I'm Paul. Um, I do this, this, and that. I wake up early in the morning. I'm really easy to get along with, blah, 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 blah. I'm really chill, I'm really cool. And I'm like, I don't remember any of that, but seconds. I guess it happened. It was really so. wild. I read the third question. Oh, Chris's other favorite question. Read How it. long did it take to become friends, Chris? Should I answer first? Go for it. Okay, so before we became friends, I think it took like three days. I thought we were friends. It's I mean, yes, we are friends. friendly. I listen, thought we were friends. Three days. Listen up, folks. Three days is too soon to know if somebody's your friend. If you, like, to me, it takes time to get to know somebody. So, like, I was friendly. I was vibing with Chris. But, like, I told him when he asked this question previously about, like, a month. Like, a month went by and I was like, okay, good. Like, this person's my friend. This is somebody that I can kiki with, that I trust. Like, it takes about, I don't know, three days? I didn't know you in three days. Yeah, I think three days. But like my mind. friend, but I wouldn't be like, you were my friend, you know? I should say about me that I am an immediate energy reader. I know right when I see you if I'm going to be your friend or if I'm going to like you. Like, I know. Chris is never wrong. There you go. He's learning, folks. Okay. What's the most annoying thing your roommate does? I know what he's going to say about me. No, you go first. No, you go first. The most annoying thing Paul does is wake up extremely early in the morning and then zip every zipper, move everything, touch anything that looks like it needs to be touched, and just fool around before he leaves in the morning. But it's not annoying. He does his thing, and he tries to get out as fast as possible, and I yeah. appreciate that. So in defense of that, I get it that it actually is annoying if, like, you don't, like, get up at the same time. I get up earlier. Everything's in a packing cube, so I try to get changed, and I try to leave so Chris can go back to bed, but I have to Which unzip so sweet. about four packing cubes, and then I, like, go to the bathroom, and like have to find my iPad and my headphones when in reality what I could do is just do it the night before. Chris, let's see. He's going through a list in his head right now. He's no, like, which one no. am I going to pick? No, no, no. Chris just sometimes likes to tell me that I'm a phony all the time. And <laughs> I'm a fake. That's the most annoying and thing that I do. it's not true. I don't Chris is it. also just sometimes loud and he really doesn't think he is. And we've been through this and it really upset him What's one time. What's so funny is I that I told him that he's loud. What's so funny is that I'm literally not loud. Right, here, but he I doesn't get to be the noise. chooser of that. If he's the, like, he is loud, and That's good. Um, he is loud, and he doesn't. How am I loud? He doesn't think he is sometimes. Literally, when and how am I loud? 
when I sing uh, randomly once a week. We listen to the intro of this whole video. That was loud. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Okay, who spends more time in front of a mirror? You're Chris. joking, right? No, He's Chris kidding. does. This is comedic. It's really not. You do. Are you okay? You check out your fit. You always do the thing. I'm going to put up a poll for the fans and all of our friends who know us. Okay, put up a poll for I'm our gonna, friends. I'm going to. I don't put the results in this video. Okay, <laughs> next question. Oh, this is a fun one. Do you use your roommate's things without asking? Oh. I don't do that, which is kind of hypocritical of me because I always tell Paul that he can use whatever he wants without asking. Yeah, Chris is very big on like anything that's in the room What's he's mine like is yours. i can just use it which like is really sweet but i just feel i always ask him usually anyway although i've started to like just take a now thing here there. Just, like eat my peanut butter but i appreciate when somebody asks to use my things or like stuff like that so yeah i always ask actually he borrowed my um fleece and it was great because it was fine he said so can i borrow your fleece and i said yes of course okay mid show check in are you having fun a blast are you Blast. Is this weird that we're sitting talking to a camera? No, it's fine. It's natural, right? Yeah, I'm not in front of the camera. Oh, please. Uh, which one of you gets easily frightened? I get frightened you. of, like, I'm a big scaredy cat. Like, bugs I don't like. <laughs> um, which may surprise my audience, because I don't get scared by bugs. Like, I don't get scared yeah. by spiders. What is the best memory you have with your roommate? Aww. I don't have, I don't, okay. I have to <laughs> think for a second. One. Um, oh, you made it so cold in here. Well, no, it's so warm. Wow. I want to wear the sweater, yeah. that's why. Oh, okay. uh, the temperature. Oof. What about the temperature? We're usually on the same page about the temperature. We're always on the same page about the temperature. Yeah. One of my favorite memories of Chris is one night, with the first night we got to, um, I mean, it's like, it was really nice. It's not like anything super, super crazy, but that first night in Texas, that we, was just, what we just went to dinner together, like had a little roomy dinner, and it was just so sweet. We were just like, chatting and the food was really good and we had a drink and it was just like good energy all around you it know? was really good i remember being like oh this is nice that's like, definitely our favorite meal this. together yeah we've had a lot of meals together too yeah good stuff that one was the best one yeah that was good um my oh i know what you're gonna say what am i gonna say tell me well, tell them tell it's people. up there well it's not really like if it's like your favorite memory of like me as like an individual it's gonna be that night we were in montreal that we got to the hotel that was a really good one. My favorite memories are so, like, simple. Like, we don't really have to be doing anything. Yeah. Like, my favorite times with Paul are, like, when we're just in our room, the two of us, and just hanging out and talking. And Paul's a very good listener. Uh -huh. And... That's sweet. That was the trolley. Oh, my God, Jilla. I forgot it. Interrupting my nice sweet speech. Day. What is your roommate's pet name? All right, here's also the story. Also nickname. We have the same one for each other. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so apparently before we were friends, I decided to give Paul a nickname. But I was like, okay, let's go with P. Like, that's his initial, like, it's Q. And I was like, I'm gonna try it for 48 hours. And it did not stick, it was terrible. Like, P is so awkward, like, when you just yeah. say, like, you know. It wasn't working at It first. didn't work, and I was like, and you know what? And we felt it, we were like, we were it's like, not working. But and the 48 hours was coming to an end. I was like, I'm going to give it another 24. And so I gave it another 24, and it stuck. Yeah, and then it worked. And now he's P. And, like, people were, like, taking note, and they were like, oh, like, oh, P. Why are you calling him P? Yeah. But then, so then he gave me this nickname, and I was like, I have to give you a nickname. And for some reason, he was very adamant about not him having a nickname. And I've I was never like, had a nickname. I was like, well, that's not fair. So then I just started calling him P back, just, like, to be funny. Because um, sometimes I like to, like, just do silly things. Mm -hmm. So he would be like, oh, hey, P. And I'd be like, what's up, P? And then it kind of really just really just stuck. stuck. So now we both call each other P. To this day. Which is great. It's and now, like, months. people in the cast, like, make fun of it, too. They're like, oh, P, come on, P. Hey, P. Hey, P. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it's good. I get us both P. I want you to hold it because it matched your sweatshirt. You no. Maybe I'll throw you for a loop. I don't know about that. What, which subject in school did your roommate like the most? Oh, that's a good one. This one wasn't on his pre-vetted question, so I'm I, for a loop. I, I know, know Chris he didn't is. like math. <laughs> Chris's favorite subject was math. Maybe you liked, like, English? Mm -hmm. Ooh, what is the color of your roommate's bag? Like, our luggage? I guess. Yours is blue. 
And his is pink. Also funny, when we first got to, we have the same um, suitcases, the away, but like we both have the carry-on and the large, and we have the same luggage it's in funny. different color. Like that first day, I was like, oh look, he has the same luggage. Twins. What's your roommate's zodiac sign? Leo. Gemini. Woo! How well do you know each other? I'd say very well. Yeah, I'd say very well. It's kind of inevitable and like, you're put in this bubble and like, this is the person like, I don't know, I would say Chris is like my person that like, I feel here like I share with everything and like all the stuff, you know? Hmm. So sweet. PDA, my favorite. Oh, stop. That's another thing we don't. Chris likes affection, I don't love affection. What? I was just, I'm just giving the viewers some insight. Mm -hmm. That's what they want. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we know each other really. Paul knows me really well. Chris knows me really well. He has this weird idea that <laughs> he doesn't, but. We're getting there. Um, who is the best bathroom singer? Chris! And who hates his bathroom singing? I literally love his bathroom singing. You guys, singing. one time Paul told me that my singing in the shower was annoying. It was one, he asked. <laughs> oh my God. He literally asked, and I said, very, very, on a very rare occasion, like maybe one time, he said, have you ever found my singing annoying? Because he always sings in the shower, and I love his singing. Chris has a beautiful voice, he's very talented. And I said, probably only like one time. Which out of heart. hundreds and hundreds of days, that's great. Just like when it's late and- We've moved on. Hmm, see? Okay. Who is an incredible bathroom dancer? Oh! <laughs> I don't know what Paul does in the bathroom, but he's a great dancer. Actually, in um, our first hotel in Syracuse, I have like videos of me like improving in the bathroom. Yeah, you're wild. <laughs> that's funny. Paul's the best dancer I know. Oh, that's so sweet. Who is the more mischievous one? Ooh, probably me. Okay, we don't disagree. Yeah. Definitely him. I wouldn't say Chris is mischievous. That's not that's not a word I would I'm use. I'm always to up to good. Like not up to nothing. I wouldn't agree with that, but um mischievous isn't the word I would use. Okay. <laughs> so this one's fine, this one's silly. Who is very annoying to the other? Obviously we'd be annoying to each like you know. We I mean? do get we both get annoyed with each other. But it's I never think, like it's never like seriously annoying, serious, but like it's yeah. quite frequent, I think. But we'll just be like rah, 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 rah. I get annoyed a little bit. But we'll I'm more annoyed. In general, I'm more annoying to him than he is to me. <laughs> oh, Chris's favorite question. Have you ever lied to each other and later on both got caught? I've never lied to Paul. Therefore, I've never gotten caught. He loves to say that one. I've never lied to you. I don't think you have. No. I don't, I don't think we lied to well, each other. I literally yeah. haven't. I don't think you have. Chris just thinks that sometimes I'm not telling. Like he'll think that like I'm just saying like oh I'm enjoying something when I'm not. I don't. And no, be I don't like, think that. You told me that before. Okay, whatever. The only time Chris lies is when he calls me a phony. No. Yeah. All right. How different are your thoughts from each other? I don't think our brains could work any differently. <laughs> That's true, but there are ways, and like we do think very differently about things. But then there's other things that like I think we feel similarly on. Yeah. When it comes to like our, I think how we view like the world and sometimes it's like very different. Sure. Or just like how we view our interactions with each other and <laughs> yeah. others yeah. are very different. Like I'll give you an example. Like if I want to go to breakfast one morning and I'm like, okay, hey, let's go to breakfast. And Paul's like, no, my mind says Paul doesn't want to go to breakfast with me. What did I do? And why does he hate me today? Mm. Whereas with me, I'm just like, oh, I don't really like want to go to breakfast. Paul's mind is just like, I don't really want to go to breakfast. Yeah. It has nothing to do like, with it has me. nothing to do with like wanting to go with Chris or not. It's just like. But like, I think it's about me. That's yeah. how my mind works. And Paul couldn't be so farther from that. <laughs> it's like, nothing is personal. Like, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I try not to take things personally, you know, but that's the beauty that's of life. That's thinking, one. That's... Thinking differently. You learn about other people. You learn how other people operate and sure, sure, sure. helps you understand more, you know. How does your roommate motivate you? Ooh. I don't know if I motivate you. I probably demotivate Paul. <laughs> Paul motivates me a lot. Paul is very driven and very um, sticks to his guns. And so I've, that's kind of rubbed off on me a little bit. And I've like, I don't know. Paul is great. So like I've learned to be more, um, l less like lackadaisical about things. Like, like Paul is very strict in his routine. And like I, that's kind of rubbed off on me a little bit. Like 
He's very mild. Chris is very, um, he takes a lot of pride and investment in his work and his art, and that's motivating to me, like, as an artist. I just think it's always exciting to work and become friends with somebody who inspires you on, like, an artistic level, so that definitely is, like, a big one. What a sweetie. Like, every night, he's giving his all, and he's never phoning it in, and even like that, he just, I don't know, he cares a lot about the work that he's putting out into the world, so. Thank Thanks, you. Kate. Who loves to sleep? Ooh, okay, this is a funny story. Chris, <laughs> since I met him on tour, he's like, sleep is my favorite thing. Eight hours, I need eight hours of sleep, that's what I need. And like, of course, like my sleep schedule, whatever. But there is not somebody I've met in this whole world who doesn't sleep more. Unfortunately, Chris's body just like won't let him sleep. And I've never met anybody who sleeps less, even though he loves sleep. Yeah. You love your sleep. But Paul can like function without his sleep, or he like wiggles his way around, he'll like get his coffee or a nap, and like he'll survive. Yeah. I do like my sleep, but I can operate on like four to five hours. Um, <laughs> who's the funniest between you two? We're both funny. I, like, I think say, we're both I say one of us have a good sense of humor. I mean, I'm hilarious, obviously. Here we go. But like, so is P. I think we both have a pretty good sense of humor. So who argues and fights most often? Okay, we don't fight. We don't fight. I don't think we've ever, we've never been in a fight. Correct. Like we argue about little things, but never anything serious. Yeah, and it's not even, it's more and of most just like of talking it's my it fault. out. It's just like, <laughs> I don't know. Just talk it out, folks. Actually, I wouldn't say it's my fault, but I'm the one who brings it up. And then I'll just try to talk it out very calm and very like level-headed and sometimes, what? Yeah. Calm. Sometimes Chris thinks things are an argument when it's literally just like not an argument. Chris thinks that if I don't agree with like his thing or like his thought or viewpoint of something, then I'm trying to like battle him or come at him where it's literally just like, no, I'm just like, I don't agree with that and I have a different opinion. Which movie have you two watched? Oh, we haven't watched good. a whole ton of movies. But we watched, we watched Sing. a few. We watched Sing. We watched Tick, Tick, Boom together. Tick, Tick, Boom. Have um, we watched any other movies? We're watching Fifty no, Shades of Grey. Just... I can't put that in this video. Why? Can I? Why not? But I don't think there's a question on here about this. We watch a series together. Tell us about it. The best. So this is my favorite TV show ever. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And Chris had never watched it. So I was like, we should watch it. Like, I'll do a rewatch of the series with you. Not my first. And now... That's, We're having a ball. That's like our tour show. And it couldn't be better. Highly recommend. What have you learned from each other? Hmm. That you have to just be authentically yourself in the world. And if something brings you joy, then you should just be unapologetic about whatever that is. And like... Go for it. So you learned that from me? Yeah. I mean, I knew that always a little bit, but I feel like you live that every day. Oh. Like, you know, like you don't care. Like, That's nice. you're like, this thing is going to make me happy and bring me joy. And it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about that. You know? Like, I really do learn a lot from Paul every day. About, like, maturity and professionalism hmm. and sweet. consistency and, um... This is gonna sound rude, but it's not. I'll explain selfishness. Like um, taking care of yourself as a priority is important. I think that's rude. I and love that's that. That's like one of the main things I've learned from Paul. Oh, that's sweet. That's a good one. One question left. How have you two changed from the day you met? Now we're friends. <laughs> it's, I always say to Chris, it's funny that like we didn't know each other a year ago. Isn't that wild? Paul. Uh oh. Is there anything else you want to say to the fans about your friend Chris or unrelated? Rate, rate, Chris rate with me out of the 10. Best. Out of 10. What's it like living with you? Just me? keep it up. What do I want to say to the fans? Rate you out of 10? Rate living with me 11. Out of 10. There it is. Woo! Chris is great. What a prime example of following your dreams. Follow your wrong. dreams. <laughs> it's never too late to do any. Here's what I would like to share with the fans. Share with the fans. It's never too late to do anything. Um, 
we do have to recognize we come from different experiences and backgrounds and some people have more roadblocks up in the way in terms of getting to where they want to go. But I think, you know, keep trying, don't give up, and live out live out the life that you want. This was one of can. his original bits, like right when we started becoming friends. It was like it was always like giving a speech, a yeah. motivational speech. Like that was his thing. Why not? Why not? You know? Why not? Here to uplift, encourage, and empower. Period. That's what um, I put my brain to. Also, while we're here, I just want to brag about my friend. Tonight is our 200th performance of Cats, and Paul has been in all 200 of them, ah, which I think no one's ever done before. So Hello. congratulations to Paul. Thanks, Chris. Superstar. Um, this was our roomie tag. I had a lot of fun. This probably is going to be a lot longer video than I thought it would be. I'd like to thank my friend P for participating. We'd like to thank our sponsors. We don't have any sponsors yet. Um, I'm really lucky that I Thanks, got you as a roommate, and uh, I love you. I'm luckier. That's true. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Bye. See, was that so hard? Was it? <laughs> Painful.